Hey, Data Center Admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's find out how Linux can help make data recovery easy. To recover data, you burn a Linux distribution onto a flash drive using a tool like UNet Bootin or Popsicle. Insert the flash drive into the system in question and boot from the flash drive. When prompted, click Try Ubuntu or whatever nomenclature your distribution of choice uses. Once the live instance is up and running, you then must locate the drive in question, which can be found with the command sudo sfdisk-l. This command will print out a list of all drives attached to the machine. To mount a drive means you are mounting a drive to a directory, so the data is accessible. Let's do that. First, open a terminal window and create a temporary directory with the command sudo mkdir slash data. With the directory in place, we can mount the drive to it. Let's assume the drive is an NTFS file system found on dev sdb. To mount this drive to our newly created directory, we'd issue a command like sudo mount t ntfs-3g slash dev slash sdb1 slash data dash o force. Once you have located the folder housing your data from the Windows drive, you can easily copy it. To do that, plug in another USB drive, leaving the one with the live distribution in place, and click on the entry in the left pane of the file manager to mount that drive. Navigate to the folder housing the data to be copied. Say it's named client underscore data, and right-click the folder in question. Select Copy from the menu. Once the data finishes copying, navigate to the newly attached USB drive in the file manager, right-click somewhere in the right pane, and select Paste. When the data pasting has finished, you can then unmount the USB drive containing the copied files and move that data wherever you need it. Hey everybody! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel, and be sure to check out more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.